welcome to my how to upgrade your PlayStation 3 hard drive tutorial. Now, first thing you want to do, uh, some of you might not know, I have the 40 gigabyte model, just to let you know, and I it with pretty much maxed out the whole hard drive. I completely maxed out, had about 500 megabytes left, and right now, the first thing you want to do is back up your current data. You can do a full backup or partial backup, I'm choosing a full backup to an external hard drive which I got right there and 40 gigabytes of full backup will take approximately about an hour and you see I'm a little over halfway done here now you can find the backup utility in under system settings and then backup utility which is also used to restore the info so you also want to go there to restore all your uh, data and I'll get to that you know when I get to it later on but a little tip I got before you actually back it up is one of these get a flash drive and actually back up all your saved data from your video games not not the game data the saved games uh, so that way just in case you never know anything were to happen you still got all your saved data that you probably spent like me countless hours on earning and unlocking stuff and all that crap Alright, and then we'll go on to the next step. Alright, the next step is to actually take the hard drive out. Now I'm going to be stepping away from the camera, so sorry if my voice gets a little low. But, to start off, of course, you need to disconnect your PS3. Make sure you turn it off properly and disconnect all power. The tools you're going to need is just a simple Phillips head screwdriver, but preferably a pretty small one because these are really small screws. Uh, you're going to need your new hard drive, which in my case... I got a 320 gigabyte Western Digital 5400 RPM hard drive. You can do a 7200 RPM hard drive, but I don't think the price really justifies the difference. You only get like a one to two second speed boost, and plus they generate more heat, and it's like 40, 50 bucks more. I mean, my you know my opinion, it's not really worth it. But you know, it's your money. Anyway, start off. You know, on the left side of your PS3, you got uh, the little right here where your hard drive is you might want to use a razor if your nails aren't long enough to pull off the piece of plastic that where your hard drive stays and where I'm pointing <clears throat> this is there's one blue screw right here you gotta take out um, make sure you be very careful taking it out and putting it in because it's very easy to strip that screw and make sure you don't lose it because that's the only screw that actually holds it in there now once you take that out there's a small tab Right here you just pull up and then what you want to do is pull toward the front of the PS3 so it slides out, disconnects, and then it will slide right out toward you. And then there lays is your case that your hard drive is going to sit in. There's my original, it came with the PS3 Hitachi 40 gig. And this case comes off with, you see right here, these four screws on each side. You got to take those off to take the hard drive out. Alright, now once you get those screws out your hard drive is only going to slide out one way out of the case it pretty much falls out you just let it and then after that go ahead and set that aside take out your new hard drive fresh out of the packaging and make sure it goes in the same way the, the original did with the connectors uh, with basically this side facing down toward the grate and the connectors facing toward the opening not the back end and it slides in just like that then you just put the screws right back in. Alright and once you get those screws back in it should look just like it did coming out except now it's your new hard drive in my case though 320 gigs be very happy with all this extra space I'm getting and it goes in basically the same way, just reversed. Make sure the tab is facing you, the connectors are facing toward the rear. And you just slide it in. Make sure you be very careful. Hard drives are very fragile. Alright. Slide it in, and then you want to push toward the rear using the tab. And you actually feel it connect. You'll feel when it's snug. And you, and you also see the holes for the blue screw line up. And you just push the tab down and put that blue screw right back in there. But remember what I said about being very careful not to strip the screw 
or else you're pretty much fucked if you ever have to get this taken out. Alright, and once it's in, just put the tab back on, and there you go, your installation is done. All that's next is just some uh, setup for a restore and whatnot, and that'll be the next step. Alright guys, and welcome back, I hooked the PS3 up, turned it on, and the one, the one thing that's going to pop up is that it's going to want to format the hard drive. Uh, you couldn't see it because it happened so quick when there's nothing on the hard drive. Go ahead and press yes to format and it's just going to tell you are you sure you want to do it. It's going to erase all stuff on the hard drive. But of course you got nothing on the hard drive so you go ahead and say yes and then it'll take literally like, I don't know, 10 seconds. And the format is done then just press X to restart the system. And another thing I forgot to mention is uh, before uh, I move on is that hang on to your original hard drive your old hard drive because it's always useful to buy an external case and use it as another external hard drive for backing up more data or using it for videos or whatever you know, always good to have extra hard drives around now as you can see it has started up and then what you're going to want to do is go right ahead to restore your data, but I'll be right back because I gotta hook up my external right. hard drive. Now, once you got your external hard drive that you backed up all your data on hooked up, you want to go to System Settings, Backup Utility. I don't know how well you guys can read this, and then come on, focus. And then to restore, right there. And it's going to ask you, do you want to restore the data that's been backed up before restoring? All data will be deleted, blah, 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 blah. Just go with yes. Click A. Click your... Wait, wait, wait. Uh, okay. Where you stored it, your hard drive, it's going to search for it. Still searching, and there it is. If you only backed it up once, you will see only one set of numbers. Go ahead and click that. And it's going to ask you again, are you sure you want to restore it? Well, <laughs> duh. And there we go, it's formatting again. I don't know why it's got to do two formats, but it's, I guess in case you got anything on there, it's reformatting it again, which as you can see is really quick. It takes like 10 seconds. And it's then go, go through a restore here. Just kind of sit and wait in awkwardness. All right, now it's doing something. Okay, now we press the PS button, and now it's going to restore, and I'll get back to you guys when it's done. Alright, and when it's done restoring all the information, all the data, just press X to restart the system, and it will go ahead and reboot it, and it should be back to normal, just like it was before, just with a lot more space for a lot more stuff for you to do, a lot more games. Yeah, and there goes the TV. And there we go. There's all my demos back. Let's check to save data. All my save data is back. Let's see if my installs. Yep. All my game installs are back. Fucking sweet. Now, system settings, system info. There we go. 233 gigabytes free of 298 nice and that's how it's done that is the tutorial on how to upgrade your hard drive on your ps3 I hope you found this information helpful and very simple very easy to do uh, the longest thing that it takes is just the backup and restoring that's pretty much the longest stuff and I'll catch you guys next time All right take it easy Peace.